So long story short is I'm going to be starting a business and it's a business, of course, that I want. I've wanted for like decades. I don't know why someone hasn't done this already. Um, I mean, honestly, if you start a business on something you don't want, you're probably like defrauding people. Uh, but um, here's the idea behind it. And I want some consultation on this. If any of you guys are can help me out. Uh, here's the idea. For the longest time, I've wanted a company to take out of print books that are in the public domain. Anyone could go on the internet and download these books in HTML format. I've wanted a company to take a lot of lesser known books and print them professionally, not just some idiot, which some people do. There are some idiots out there who literally just copy and paste the web page into a book and print it. I don't want that. I don't want some moron. I once bought this copy of Tacitus's Histories which was literally just someone who photocopied a book and sent it out improperly formatted to other people. It pisses me off. What I, all I want is someone who knows a little bit of shell scripting. They can take some HTML, convert it into LaTeX. They know how to use LaTeX and they know the original languages so they can successfully edit these you know, different books or whatever. A lot of the ones I want are in Latin I, of course, there are some that I want in English and stuff like that, but um, a lot of the ones I really wanted in, are in Latin. So I've wanted someone who can do the shell scripting, do the LaTeX, do the Latin, do whatever languages, or just be generally competent. And I realized, I guess, wait, oh no, I do all those things, so maybe I should just make it my own business and make money off of it, because I'm sure someone else will want something like this. So here's, that's what I'm doing. Basically... Um, I'll talk about the specific books that I've been doing recently. Uh, I, I have three of them so far that I've worked on in the past week. Um, but there are others I'm looking into soon. But I'll go ahead and say, if you know, if you have published books, or if you have friends who have self-published books, um, I'm thinking about using a print-on-demand service. And that's just to minimize risk as I'm starting this up. So basically, there are a bunch of companies. A lot, I mean, the one that people know about is Amazon, which I don't really want to use. But of course, you can give Amazon basically your PDF and what you want your cover to look like, and they will print your book on demand if, to anyone who buys it. Okay. So there are other companies that do this that I'm looking into. You know, there's like Lulu, there's like um, uh, Book Baby or something like that. If anyone has any recommendations for which ones to use, please tell me. Um, but you know, that, that's what I'm basically doing. So anyway, th let me show you the, the works I've done so far, or at least I have in progress. So in the last video I put up yesterday, I mentioned that I was rereading, uh, Dante's, uh, or not this one, uh, Divulgare Eloquencia. Okay. Um, now this book, uh, well, basically I've done this book. Okay. Because I, I sort of wanted a physical copy of it. You can get a physical copy of it for like $40 on eBay or something stupid like that. Um, which probably has everything. Well, a lot of times you can't even find it in Latin, which is so stupid. You can just get the text in Latin online. Anyway, I already complained about all this, all this. But basically what I've done is I've put it into a LaTeX document. I've done a lot of formatting. I'm still trying to get like what I want my formatting for everything to look like. Uh, there are a bunch of errors you have to correct. There are a bunch of just other things that, that go into this kind of stuff. Um, and in this case, this is a shorter book. So I've actually decided to uh, add sort of my comments. And these are in, um, you know, the uh, frames or whatever. Um, but it's a pretty short book, all things considered. I want to see, let's see. So it's only 58 pages, or maybe I, I don't have the second book in here yet, but, um, so I'm, I'm basically going through all this and editing it. I'll probably add in an, an editor's introduction in English. Um, but you, but again, this is like the original Latin. Uh, the other one that I pulled up just a second ago is actually by Dante as well. Uh, I forget why I originally wanted to do that. I've actually talked about this book on the channel as well. I think uh, in one of the podcast episodes, the one that was like, what was the title? Something like Democracy, Rule of the NPCs or something like that. But I talked briefly about this book. But um, De Monarchia is sort of a, a political treatise, I guess, by Dante. It's uh, also pretty, I don't know, interesting, I suppose. But um, doing this one as well, it's a little little bit longer. I don't know if I'll put a commentary in this, but there's a lot more to edit in here. Um, but uh, so another thing I'm thinking about doing is this is a, a, another sort of public question for people. Now, one of the best artists ever, right, that we all, I don't know, maybe you've probably seen his works is uh, Gustave Doré. 
and I'm, he has a million different engravings, and those are good because they're black and white, so I can put them in books, and you know they're all public domain nowadays. So I'd like to be able to put his en engravings in my books, uh, at least in ones that are relevant, um, but I can't seem to find high definition uh, pictures of his, his engravings. If anyone knows where to find those, please tell me. Uh, but I, yeah, I'm thinking about adding those to w those where it's proper. Anyway, so I have these two books about Dante, and I have this other book that I had over here, and this is the big one. And this is one you probably have not heard of, probably by someone that you don't know about. Um, it's Isidorus of uh, uh, Seville. So this book, again, written in 625, so way back in the day, this was basically the textbook that was used, I mean, it was like the book, uh, the textbook for like, uh, you know, young students all over the place. It is really, it's supposed to be a book on etymology, but it's really more like a, an encyclopedia. Um, because the idea behind it is there are 20 different books in it, sub books, and they're on, you know, different topics. So, you know, one on animals, you know, one on, you know, uh, buildings and, and the fields and stuff like that, church stuff. You know, there are a bunch of different topics. And he goes into the, it's sort of an encyclopedia on one side, and it's also a primer in Latin on the other side. And that is, um, it's written in this extremely simple Latin that, you know, a Latin 201 student could understand. And it's supposed to be explaining words and sort of defining them uh, and giving etymologies for them. A lot of the etymologies are, of course, like not really accurate, but they're good mnemonics for like remembering the words if you're learning Latin or something like that. And so, uh, so this book is actually really cool and it's enormous. It's like nearly 700 pages. I'll probably actually like break this up probably like in, you know, four volumes with five of the books. So, again, there are like 20 sub books of it. Um, but so this one is a big one and I, I really like this book. I actually haven't read the entire thing But I think in the process of editing it. There's a lot to go over here I mean, I, I again, I have like I have said scripts and stuff that'll do a lot of the stuff automatically But uh, there's a lot you just need to look at yourself and you know, especially when he has like Greek letters and stuff a lot of things mess up um, so Anyway, so this is what I'm doing. Um, and this, now, if you have any suggestions for books that you would like to have printed, uh, please give them to me. And again, uh, I'm still deciding of how to print these, print on, print these on demand. So if you have any service you recommend, let's say you know you you really love Lulu as a service or something like that. I've heard bad things about Lulu as well, but um, if you really think that one of these services partic is particularly good, please tell me. Again, I can do all the text formatting myself, obviously. Um, that's sort of the point. Um, but I'm still sort of thinking of how to publish these. But um, uh, anyway, I'm going to keep working on these. So again, if you have any suggestions for the kind of books to do, uh, drop them in the comments or something, and I'll probably see you guys next time. Although I might be doing videos on stuff that's related to the books that I'm going over just because they're on my mind all the time I'm like reading all of these but anyway, that's about it. I'll see you guys next time